with this house and today we would like to welcome our guest of honor, Mr. Steven Segal, and wife, and of course, with Mr. Vincent Hu, the permanent secretary for the Ministry of Tourism, Arts, Culture, Tourism, Arts, Culture, Youth and Sports, Sarawak. Thank you for being with us today. And today we have a special uh, performance for our guest of honor here in this Red Forest Music House. A sapphic performance by our very renowned sapphic player, Jerry Kami, and our other talent. Steven Seagal to Kalimantan has caught the attention of netizens. The video went viral on social media. Celebasmagazine.com In the Angong Expedition Upload It can be seen that Steven Seagal came to Kalimantan riding a black Toyota Alford. He was then greeted with a beat of traditional music. Then a Dayak resident hinted to do a welcoming tradition. He took the saber out of the nest. Then give a welcome. The saber, placed on the ground. Unexpectedly, then Steven Seagal bent down and took the saber while kissing it. Then the special weapon is given back and put into the nest. The video is titled, Steven Seagal's visit to the Borneo Dayak traditional house and is known to have been uploaded about 8 months ago. However, the video went viral on social media after being uploaded to several social media accounts. Not only kissing the saber. The Hollywood actor then wore a necklace which was continued with the tradition of welcoming dances. Meanwhile, netizens in the comments column admitted that they saluted the presence of the Hollywood actor. Because, not only come but also look very respectful of tradition. Even with a friendly following the photo session. Interestingly, Steven Seagal also plays a typical Kalimantan musical instrument. Ud, IGI, recently. A video went viral showing the presence of Hollywood actor, Steven Seagal, who was reportedly in Kalimantan. In the video, you can see three people wearing typical Dayak clothing welcoming the actor from the film Under Siege, 1992. Not only that, Steven also seemed enthusiastic about participating in the welcoming event. So is Steven Seagal really going to Indonesia? Let's see the article below. 1. Steven Seagal's viral video to Borneo Steven Seagal advertising. Article continued below the video showing Steven Seagal standing in front of the Dayak tribes immediately became a netizen. Conversation. The reason is, the Hollywood actor is reportedly visiting Indonesia, namely Kalimantan. Those who welcomed the urban justice actor wore traditional clothes called King Baba. Investigate an investigation. The video that was circulating was originally uploaded by Angong Expedition YouTube on May 9, 2021 with the title, Steven Seagal's visit to the Borneo Dayak traditional house. 2. Steven Seagal's attitude towards the Dayak tribe is in the spotlight not only was it reported that he was visiting Kalimantan. Netizens also highlighted the attitude of the 1952-born actor when he was greeted by people from the Dayak tribe. The reason is, the leader of the Dayak tribe who at that time asked Stephen to kiss the typical Dayak weapon, Mandau. At that time, Seagal tried to confirm with his colleagues and then followed what was asked in the welcoming ceremony. This is an attraction for Indonesian netizens because Stephen Seagal has tried to respect Indonesian culture. Meanwhile, Stephen Seagal was also draped with flowers by the indigenous Dayak tribe at that time. 3. Steven Seagal's arrival is not in Indonesia. The arrival of Steven Seagal who was reported to be in Kalimantan was not true. According to Ziggy.id team monitoring, the actor who had received the PETA award was currently visiting Kuching, Sarawak, Malaysia. This can also be seen in the banner contained in the video with the words, Sarawak Harvest and Folklore Festival. As is known, Sarawak is an area that borders the provinces of West Kalimantan, East Kalimantan and North Kalimantan. It's only natural that the regional nuances in the video are almost similar to Kalimantan. 4. Steven Seagal visits in 2019. Complete with a black shirt combined with jeans, Steven Seagal visited one of these areas in Malaysia during the Harvest and Folklore Sarawak Festival in April 2019. After being greeted by the three Borneo Dayak tribes, Seagal immediately went inside and walked through the house made of ironwood. At that time, 
The general commander, 2019, actor was invited to sit and enjoy the regional music that had been prepared. 5. Steven Seagal visits for film prep. As is well known, Steven Seagal is an actor who really pays attention to the condition of the forest, from animals to the cultural life of an area. It's just a face if the Hollywood actor born in 1952 has ever received the 1999 PETA Humanitarian Awards. Steven Seagal not only visited for the sake of humanity but also his plans to play. Science in the area. I'm planning to come back here for the film, said Steven Seagal as reported by the Borneo Post on Thursday, January 27, 2022. However, Steven Seagal did not provide details about the plot and title of the film he will be starring in. As is known, Seagal had played a film titled Beyond the Law. The film was directed by James Cullen Bresick and released on December 6, 2019. So, those are the five facts about Steven Seagal who allegedly visited Kalimantan after receiving a welcome from the Borneo Dayak tribe. So Celebes magazine reported. Editor. Mustafa Kamal. and sports Sarawak. Thank you for being with us today. And today we have a special uh, performance for our guest of honor here in this Rainforest Music Hub. A Sapit performance by our very renowned Sapit player, Jerry Kami, and our other talented Sapit players.